An initiative to tax Wyoming property at 50% valuation is facing growing opposition. The highway through the Wind River Canyon turns 100 this summer. And fans are wishing a happy birthday to Grizzly 399. We'll take a look at these stories and more today from Wyoming's largest news organization. I'm Wendy Kaur for Cowboy State Daily. A ballot initiative to provide dramatic residential property tax relief in Wyoming is drawing some vocal political backlash. Political reporter Leah Wolfson says that some legislators are worried that a proposed initiative allowing Wyoming homeowners to have their property taxed at 50 percent of its assessed value would create such a hit to state revenues that it would lead to a state income tax to fund Wyoming schools. The Wyoming caucus spoke against this ballot initiative. They said it's going to cost the state way too much money and it's not the right approach to property tax tax reform. The Wyoming Department of Revenue estimated that the initiative would cause a $143 million hit to total revenue statewide in its first tax year of 2025. By 2026, that would increase to $147 million. The longest highway in America contains a 20-mile section of roadway in Wyoming that was, at the time, America's most expensive section of road. Cowboy State Daily's Renee Jean reports that the road through the Wind River Canyon in central Wyoming cost a million dollars to construct and nearly bankrupted the company that was building it. The dearly bought stretch of highway that's also a two-billion-year geologic journey through time will turn 100 years old this summer. It was dedicated in October of 1924, but it opened a little earlier in the summer so that people could take Sunday drives along this newly completed portion of highway. And the the whole road was the Yellowstone Highway in Wyoming and Colorado. Thermopolis Tourism Director Jackie Dorothy is working on plans to celebrate the anniversary with a Sunday bus tour, as well as stickers to commemorate the occasion and a complete history of the ambitious project. Well, there will be no live horse racing at Frontier Park after all. Cheyenne Frontier Days announced Friday that it's decided it won't pursue a lucrative proposal to host 16 days of live horse racing at Frontier Park, which would have brought Cheyenne's flagship event a little extra money for the looming maintenance issues it's facing. Tom Hersig, CEO of Cheyenne Frontier Days, told Cowboy State Daily the organization has simply decided the event didn't really fit their brand after all, though it could have brought in some money for upcoming repairs. Hersig said CFD will continue to work with the community on the challenges ahead and seek creative solutions. I'll be back with more news right after this. At Hilltop Bank, we understand that buying a home is a big decision. That's why we're here to be your trusted partner on the path to home ownership. Our experienced mortgage team will guide you every step of the way, from pre-approval to closing. We offer competitive rates and a wide variety of home loan options to best suit your needs. With our local knowledge and personalized service, you'll feel confident and comfortable throughout the entire home buying process. Contact us today to start your journey toward home ownership. Hilltop Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. A Grable man convicted of four felonies for delivery and possession of counterfeit oxycodone pills laced with fentanyl that killed 25-year-old Jordan Jackson of Cody faces new manslaughter charges in neighboring Park County related to Jackson's death. Cowboy State Daily's Jen Kotcher reports that until now, 36-year-old Anthony Michael Fuentes had not been charged with any crimes related to Jackson's death of an overdose on January 3, 2023. So this is a big deal that it was actually tied to the death of Jordan Jackson because prior he was just convicted and accused of charges with possession and delivery. And the fact that it did lead to Jordan Jackson's death was not in any way part of this case. Prior to the manslaughter charge, Fuentes pleaded no contest to the original four felony drug charges in Bighorn County and was sentenced to three to five years in Wyoming State Prison. And Wyoming's most famous bear, Grizzly 399, reached a significant milestone this month when she hit age 28. But Outdoors reporter Mark Hines says she'll have to last at least another six years to match the longest known lifespan of a grizzly in the northern Rockies region. So we don't know the exact date of her birthday, but we can logically deduce that she was likely born in January. So we're celebrating her turning 28, which is quite a milestone. Grizzlies don't generally live past 25 in the wild. And the people I talked to said, you know, given her overall physical shape, there's a good chance that she'll survive at least long enough to get her latest cub raised and out on his own. Grizzly 399 has spent most of her life in Teton National Park and gained a worldwide fan base when wildlife photographers began began sharing images of her and her various litters of cubs across social media. And that's today's news. Get your free digital subscription to Wyoming's only statewide newspaper by hitting the subscribe button on CowboyStateDaily.com. I'm Wendy Kaur for Cowboy State Daily.